Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 78 of the Scum Single Player Series. Yes, we're getting two this week because, you know, it's 0 0.5. We kind of need to. We kind of need to do as much as we can on this because there's lots and lots to cover. Right. Okay. Previous episode. Pretty damn fun. Died in it. <laughs> Had to sector respawn, ran all the way back from my stuff, ran out of bullets for the uh, the UMP-45, stayed around to loot a little bit, and I got myself a little AKS. I healed it up, I made sure everything is at 100%. I've only got three magazines for it though. I've got a little hand axe, a one-handed axe, as you can see. Not much in the way of stuff here. Hopefully we find something pretty tasty today. I've also got two knives on me. I don't know why I've got two knives on me, by the way. I don't know why I've got two knives on me. I, I like the... I like this. I really like this weapon right here. The N9 bayonet. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Look at that shine in the light. Oh, look at it glisten in the sun. Ooh. It's a very nice weapon. It is a very nice weapon. However, we're going to be making use of this today. And hopefully I don't run out of ammo for it too soon because I need to fill up my car and we're going to be building something today. No, it's not a boat. Not yet. That will come. That will come. Don't worry. Just bide your time, guys. Just bide your time. Today, we're going to build the rubber rat attack. We are going to build the automatic crossbow. Now, the automatic crossbow is a pretty cool item. I've used it plenty of times. Pl <laughs> Can't speak today. Uh, I've used it plenty of times in multiplayer servers where it's been like a welcome pack thing or it's been in my server and I've made it and I've used the explosive bolts with it. They're crazy. Um, what I want to do, what I really want to do is I want to try and make, you know, the rubber rat attack. I want to make the magazines. I want to make four of them, but they require so much material. But that's what I'm going to be trying to aim for today. We're going to try and get all the materials built up for this. Now, we can go back home and build this because it uses an improvised workbench or we can use a drill press or the metal lathes. This is going to be the problem. I have one of these back at home. I don't have one of these with me though, which is a wee bit of an issue. Just a wee bit, just a, just a, just a, just a wee bit, just a little bit. But it's all right, it's okay, we'll get there. So, where do we want to go to today? Right, before we even go anywhere, we need to fill the car up because the car's a wee bit, uh, Mm. It's a wee bit choking on the fuel today. So there is a fuel station back that way. If you recall, it's the one with the garage connected to it. And it's also got two kiosks on it. We're going to be going there. Then we're going to turn around. And then we're going to go all the way to Zulu Zero. Now, before we begin as well. Sorry, there's so many things to go out the road. A lot of people have been DMing me saying, Why has Zulu 4 not got a bunker? It does have a bunker. You just need a boat. It's right there. It's right where my cursor is. See that little cluster of buildings right there? In Zulu 4, that is your bunker. You need to get a boat, a sailing boat, a raft, a paddle board, a dinghy, a, a rib, a something. Just something to get you across the water. And that is where you'll go. That is where that is where the bunker is located. I don't know what this is over here. You know, bordering or kind of split across Zulu 3 and Zulu 4. Don't know what, don't know what that is. Never been there yet. I've been to Zulu 4's island, it's pretty cool, it's got a little, uh, it's got a little base there, it's pretty cool, pretty neat. Uh, this bit right here, this, uh, this island right here, has actually got a World War II bunker on it, and I kind of want to go to it. At the same time, down here by this train station, or this train line, or the, you know, the train tracks, uh, there's a bridge here. Right here, there is another World War II bunker, I'm tempted to go there as well. But enough blethering, ladies and gents, enough blethering, let's rock and roll. Let's go see if we can deal with these zombies hoarding around the petrol station. I hope everybody enjoyed the previous episode, though. That was a lot of fun. I genuinely had a lot of fun in that. Even though the end was a little bit explosive or, uh, you know, touchy-feely uh, with the puppets constantly attacking me, I kind of ran into a complete uh, hive of them, it seems. Right, there's, there's, no, there's no puppets spawned here. There's no puppets spawned here yet. Wait for it. You know what? Wait for it. Is it just a normal one? Ah, he's just a fat one. Beep beep. Beep beep. You did? No, he's not dead. Come out onto the road. 
Oh, careful. See, if I had a pistol, if I, if I was thinking about this and decided to bring my pistol, I could deal with these uh, puppets quite easily just by shooting out the window. But this is just as easy, I suppose. Uh, uh, there we go. Now this, yeah, this place will definitely have the stuff that I need. Right, I'm going to just park this up right in the middle. And then I'm going to sort out the fuel situation right here. Fill with fuel. I just have to keep my eyes in the back of my head. Make sure that there's no puppets going to come out of any little, uh, you know, out of the woodwork and attack me. <laughs> is that is that vandalism right there? Oh, that's a... Uh, that's uh, Gamepire's other game, isn't it? That one right there. Gas Guzzler's Extreme. That's another Gamepire's... That's another Gamepire's game right there. You can tell it's Gamepire's look. It's another baldy man. Just like me. <laughs> Madam! Shut up! Oh, I woke them up. Right, see before we do anything, actually. <gasps> that's a rare find! That is a rare find. They're, they, because they took out grinding stones, uh, you have to use grinding these grinding stones, the big ones, or you have to use your improvised workbench in order to sharpen things now. Right, we need... Right, what do we actually need? We need... Right, two metal. I can get that from just this car right here. So that's two metal all sorted out. Uh, what else do we need? We need rubber bands as well. This place will probably have everything that I need. Does that need? Does, what does that need? It's yeah, it's definitely rubber bands we need. Okay, this place has still got the still got the watermelon. Look, is that a can of baked beans? <laughs> right, have a wee nosy through this one. Nothing, nothing. Right, rubber bands, rubber bands. Need to put my thinking. Oh, hello. Oh, nails as well. We need the nails. We need the nails. Nails are important. I need to put my thinking cap on here, guys. Hold on. Oh, the recyclables have, like, paper and... Oh, tell me. Yeah, there we go. Oh, ho, ho. that's a good find right there. What's in the dumpster? Metal. Right, we need rubber. We need, we need to go rubber hunting, guys. We need to go rubber hunting. There's a wee knife. He's inside there. Open sesame. That won't work. That won't work. Oh my god, there's lots of them. Oh, there's lots of puppets. Lots and lots of There's a bra again. A bra. Uh, oh, hi. Hello. I'll take you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, all right, okay. All right, okay. Put you away. Put you away. Put you away. Right, we've got the metal. I lied. We don't have the metal. I picked up a, a set of bolts. I picked up a set of bolts. That's my mistake. That's okay. We can just search through this. Or not. Or not. Game can just tell me no. Okay, rubber bands. Rubber ba No, rubber bands. I need the rubber bands. I need the rubber bands. I need to make sure I'm getting the right things here. Right, so I need duct tape as well. Are they all upstairs? Oh. Okay, he did. Right, uh, anything? Nope. Nothing up there. A couple of more cars over here. Uh, what have we got here? We have got a sweater. I don't want a sweater. Oil filter. Give. Oh, there he's there. Okay, he took three bullets. That may that was maybe a wee bit negligent in me. <laughs> a rotten apple. Plenty of cars here. Plenty of metal here, guys. Oh! There we go. <laughs> uh, nah, nothing there. I think it's the rubber bands that are going to cause me a little bit of pain. A little bit of an issue. Everything else seems to be relatively easy to find. What is that? A metal arrow? I'll take that. Just out in the open like that? Just out in the... Oh! 
just out in the trash like that? I'll take that. Some fireworks. Why did they throw away fireworks? A perfectly good fireworks. What the hell? A bar of soap. It's absolutely stanky. There's a mobile phone that's broken. Well, let's go have a wee nosy in here, shall we? Right, it's these piles that usually spawn the, the rubber bands, isn't it? It's definitely those, that, that pile. Can I get another? No, I can't. I was going to hope for another 40 screwdriver. Oh! There's a... Th guys, there's a... It's <laughs> a wheelbarrow sitting right there! Okay, filing cabinets have def... No, never mind. Oh, -ho, there we go! Magic! There's that pickaxe before. Uh, no, none of my mechanic friends told me that they use pickaxes in these type of garages, so... Uh, maybe it's some sort of creation way of fixing things. Okay, don't want to go in there. I'm going to go this way. Ole! Okay, check the desk. Nope. Yes. Oh dear, that's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot of pu that's a lot of puppets that I can hear up there. Why is there so many up there? Why is there so many of you? Oh, <gasps> they're good ones to find rubber bands. Oh, hello. Oh, excuse me. Well, that was easy. Huh. Okay, so this is the bar. I need to heal. I need to heal. I need to heal. Hold on, guys. I need to heal. Gimme. Gimme, gimme. Oh, I'm pissing blood. Lovely. Also, if I randomly, like, if you randomly hear snaps and cracks and stuff like that, it's probably my hands and my arms that are a wee bit sore today. <laughs> if you're part of my Discord, you'll probably understand why. And no, it's, n it's, it's, n it's nothing. It's nothing rude. It's nothing rude. Don't you guys even start me. Okay, what's in here? Lead. Is he in there? Ole, why is there metal in here? Oh. Wait a minute. Um, anybody that knows Croatian? Anybody that knows Croatian watching the video right now? What does this say? So, number one, number two, number three... Number four, number five and number six, number seven, number eight. There you go. Try and translate them. I'll hold my I'll hold my screen for two seconds so you guys can kind of read that. There you go. You guys can pause it, don't worry. You guys are intuitive, you can pause the video. <laughs> Anybody that knows creation, what does that say? What does that actually say? I want to know. Hello! Shut up! There's a zucchini in here, and head mu and earmuffs. What were you doing in here, sir? In fact, I don't even want to know the answer at this point. Right. We need rubber. B oh, rubber bands. We need rubber bands. Rubber bands seem to be evading us, ladies and gentlemen. They seem to be evading us. Right. We spent a little bit too long here. Let's get the hell out of here. Right, the place that I want to, in fact, you know what? Let's not go to the resort in Zulu Zero. Let's go, let's go, let's go to... Hmm, where should we go? Let's go to Zulu 2. Uh, let's go back to the... In fact, there's nothing here, actually, apart from that World War II bunker. In fact, let's go to the World War II bunker. I'll show you guys where that is. It's a good little location as well, because on the... On the train tracks, there is carriages of uh, of trains, and they are loaded with loot. They are, in fact, loaded with loot. Some have military boxes in them. Some have just like, miscellaneous boxes in them. It's a pretty good little place to, to pick up some loot here and there. Right, we need to find out where 
I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Not very good at this. Not very good at this right now. <laughs> oh, let's go to the World War II bunker. There is actually quite a few uh, new World War II bunkers uh, around the, the Zulu sectors. And just like the other World War II bunkers, they're kind of the same, but some of them are quite big. Oh, there's a wee bit of air. Whoa! Oh, shit! They respawned! <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. All right, we're going off-road just to evade them. We're going off-road to evade the beeper. Because I don't feel like respawning today. <laughs> okay. Problem averted. Okay, we can go. Right, so that's south, so we can go north here. We can kind of just... Uh... Okay, maybe not that hard, but down we go. Lights on, let's rock and roll. Kind of stay to the left and right of the... Uh... The tracks, because I find that when you do ride on the tracks, they kind of kick your back tires out. And when they kick your back tires out, it seems to spin you. So, try and keep one set of tires on the passenger side or the driver's side uh, inside the tracks, and a set of wheels outside of the tracks, and you'll be fine. Ooh, that was a nearly, that was a near miss, that. Right, there is a bunker up to our left. Not gonna bother with that today. Let's go see this. In fact, at this World War II bunker as well, there is a boat spawn. There is in fact a boat spawn here. Because on my uh, on one of my live streams when we were featuring 0.5 for the first time, uh, we actually found a boat here. <laughs> so we're gonna have a wee nose it there, it's there. There be the World War II bunker. Look at that! That's a really cool place to put a bunker as well because it's got a. It does. It does look, ladies and gents. We've got a bunk. We've actually got a boat in a bunker. Boat in a bunker. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good place to put. That's a good place to put a coastal battery just like that. That's wild. That. Look at that. You some rogue boat comes up this way, trying to come up. You know this slipway right here or go up to the the uh, the freshwater rivers and then they see this guy right here and they get completely blasted right let's have a wee nosy let's see if we can find Ooh, gimme you know what just because we're here oh ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. we're gonna loot it to i need to put away some of my stuff as well what we got a tacky shirt 45 uh so far, it's been okay. It's not been great. Oh, don't need that. Oh, uh, that double drop. Oh, god damn. <laughs> 762 or 792, should I say. What's on there? Yep, SVD rounds. We got a gun. We've got a sawn off shotgun. Let's go to the place upstairs. Oh, don't forget about these boxes right here. That's 3006. Yep, correct. That's a tacky bayonet or a tacky knife. There's another shotgun. The game loves me with these shotguns. Every time I go to a bunker, every time I go to a POI, I'm always blessed with. Oh, I'm always blessed with one of those. 1887. One of my favourite shotguns in this game. Alright. Okay. I'll take that. I'll have that. That's an M1 suppressor. Okay, we got ourselves a, 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 a Mosin with a scope. Check that out. And we can load it too, because we've got rounds for it, even though it's kind of, even though it's kind of stanky and manky, you know? Even though it's kind of stanky. Oh, I can't place anything in there. Why can I not place anything? Oh, <gasps> I filled it. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. That's, um... I'm gonna get rid of that. 
yeah, why do something here? Need to do something here. How how am I gonna fit you? How am I going to fit you? How am I going to fit you? Ooh, this could be interesting. You know what? We can do away with some of this stuff. Like, for example, we can go away and dump the beer. Dump the beer. Get the beer out of here. I know you guys probably want the beer. I don't want the beer, though. I don't want the beer. Right, move everything up one. Create some additional space. Do See if you do this, it auto stacks or auto places to the next available spot. So there you go, it's filled now. And can we do this now? E no, we can't. Can I take that out? And put that in there. And put that there. Uh -huh. How about now? Ha ha! Ha ha! See? I'm good at this game. I'm good at this game. Right, I'm going to chuck away everything else in here as well. Right, I think we might have some rubber bands back at the base. I'm hoping we do. Because if we don't, I'm going to start crying. Uh, we've got one out of the th four that we need. We've got duct tape. We've got the metal. That wooden planks is... Wooden planks are really easy to come by. I think I've got a drill back at home. I think we should just go home at this point. But not before searching this stuff, though. If we... Oh, oh, oh. That is my favourite blade in this game. The Bushman? Really good weapon. Really good weapon. A Karamba? Another basic knife. Jeez, oh. Lots of stuff here. And uh, there's an M9. There's an M9 just sitting here. Plenty of metal, some tools. There's a pair of... Uh, oh! There's a crutch. There's a wee crutch. Okay, usually puppets spawn on this... Uh, <laughs> They usually spawn in this uh, this bridge right here. So I'm just going to keep my eyes open. Just in case something bad happens. Can I search through all this? No, it's all crap. Right. Red ones. What we got in here? Okay, it seems you can't get into the red one. Se oh, seems like we've got a, a hobo cart right here. We've got a hobo cart right here. Lots of black bags, a couple of mattresses. I'm sure I watched some sort of Vice video on uh, the Great American Hobo or something like that. It was, it, was, it was to do with the train tracks and the the trains and such going from like different states, from state to state, and the and they would just hitchhike. Well, not hitchhike. They would kind of just jump inside the carts and kind of just wait till it takes them somewhere until <laughs> they. Till they get to whatever de destination they're trying to get to. I thought it was quite interesting. Because you, you definitely don't see any of that here. It's kind of... It's really interesting how they would just... Jump on a... Jump on a train car. And just wait. Till they got to the location. And if it was the right location. They would just, you know... Jump off. That's us here. Let's go. So... Ooh. Broadheads. Ooh. I do like me... These carts are really good. Oh, we've got everything, ladies and gents. We're going home. We're going home. We're, go we're going home. I'm going home. Going home now. Going home. We're going to go make the autocrossy. That's what I wanted to do today. I also wanted to find a boat. We, we did find a boat. I don't know how I'm going to get it. To There's an idea for the developers. Right, hear me out. There's wooden boats, right, with outboards. There is also inflatable boats with outboards. Now, here is my idea. This right here is a pickup truck. This thing is capable of hauling things. Something that I would probably like, and this just came to the top of my head right there. Deflate the inflatable boats, remove the outboard, Put it into the car because this flatbed at the back is enough room to hold all that stuff. 
Developers, please make that happen. <laughs> please make that happen. I'd love for that to happen. That would be so good. That would be so ideal. Because I would really like to use my infl like an inflatable uh, outboarded engine boat or an or inflatable boat with an outboard on it on my pond. I'd like that. Would anybody else like that? I'd kind of enjoy that. That would be quite cool. I mean, there's pro I mean, there could, there must be, there must be a facility to make that happen. Surely it's not impossible. Right. The reason why I'm staying off off the road right now is because I'm just uh, trying to get to an unofficial one right now. A little white road. Oh 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 oh! I didn't bash it that time. Uh huh. Wait, there should be one right here. There we go. There we go. Slid right into it. Right, we're going to go home and we're going to make an auto crossy. An automatic crossbow. And uh, Is that another... Is that another pier? It is too. It is too. Oh my. Okay. I didn't even see that there. I genuinely didn't see that. Okay. Which way we're we going? We're going east. We're going the wrong way. Again. I keep going the wrong way today. It's It's weird because you think you know you think you know where you're going. You don't really. Maybe if you use your map. Maybe I should use that more often. Is there a boat here? That's just a refueling station. That is just a refueling station for all the boats. Oh, wait a minute. I am going the wrong way. I was going the right way. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. See if, see if this was a live stream right now. See if this was a live stream right now. You'd all be chanting at me. You're going the wrong way, you tit. Right. It's up here I need to go. Up here. That's the road right there. Right, now I'm going the right way. Because I want to go to this bridge right here. My uh, <laughs> my car's a wee bit smoky as well, which ain't so good. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm really not paying attention today, guys. I think I need a wee bit of sugar. <laughs> I need to go get a drink or something like that. Right. Up here and then to the left. Up and to the left. We're going to be careful. We're going to be careful today. I just want to build this auto automatic crossbow. I wish I had... I don't know if it's the engineering or if it's archery that I need to be advanced in order to make the explosive tips. Because that would be really cool to showcase. You know? Just... I know for a fact that the, the automatic crossbow... Has a magazine capacity of 25. Oh. Do I need to go that way? Oh. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that road. <gasps> Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. We're good. We're good. Did you hear that audible gasp? <laughs> Right, okay. Auto crossbow today. Let's go. We can do this. Along the way, we'll probably stop off a few locations. Maybe do a little bit of sightseeing. Maybe, maybe. I really want to get back to my base, though. As soon as we get to the, back to the mainland, into the A sectors, into the Alpha sectors, uh, we should be plain sailing from there. <sighs> Yeah, 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 I'm a good driver. <laughs> yeah, good driver. <laughs> Admittedly, I, can't, I, I, almost, I almost doubted myself there for a second there. That could have been risky. How cool would it be if you could make ramps in this game and just jump off the bridge? Ooh. Oh my god, I'm a... Oh, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> right, we need to get from Alpha 1 all the way to Charlie 3. 
So this might take a wee minute. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to quickly jump. So I'll see you in just two seconds, alrighty? See you then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are home. Hooray. And the, the car's a wee bit beaten up, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all good. It's all right. It's all right. It's all good. Nothing, no, nothing bad will happen. It's okay. Right. We've got the two... How many nails do we actually need? We only need... We only need 20 nails. <laughs> we only need 20 nails, right? I do... We do have the nails. We do have... Oh, those are bolts. Hold on. Nails. Uh, throw that in there. Throw that in there. That in there. Uh, keep a hold of you because you're important. Throw you in there, you in there, and there. Right. I do have some more. I do have some more. This should be in here. Boxes of nails. There we go. Magical. And look, 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 look. We've got, we've got the, we've got the drill as well. We've got the drill as well. That's a good. Oh, we can make it. We can make it. Right. We just have to make sure that the... Make sure that we've got everything that we need in our inventory. So, what do we need? We have the drill. Check. The duct tape. Check. The metal. Check. The axe, which is a cutting tool. Check. We need wooden planks, which means we may need to take a little gamble and see if these are full. Let's check if this will turn on. Turn on, please. <laughs> okay, we can be quick. We can be quick here. Right, cut down tree. I'm kinda, I'm kinda no clipping into it, but it's all right. Okay, I need to take, I need to take three of these. I need to take three of these with me. Otherwise, it won't work. Because it's six planks per log. One, two, three. And we need to try and make this inside the cabin. I don't know if there will be enough room for these logs and all the planks, though. Which is a wee bit of an issue. It's a little bit of an issue. But we'll try it. We'll try it. What's, we'll, you know, you have, to, you have to try. Let's go. Let's try. Right. Oh, you, you, and you. I should have put these in a box. This would have been so much easier if I just put them in a box. So much easier if I just put them in a bloody box. Right, we're almost here. There it is. There's the one we need. And now, we'll cut it into planks. That, that, eh, 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 that's my door, mate. Okay, so, minor detail, uh, they spawn all over the place, but it's okay, it's alright, it's okay, things like this will happen. There's one in the, there's one in the door, there's one in the door. Right, that's six, so let's turn it back on again. We're good to go. And cut into planks. Dude, what are you doing? Hmm... Let me try something. That's a wee bit interesting, that. See, if you try everything, you sometimes find little weird things like that just popping up out of nowhere. Right, I'm just going to do all of them. To hell with it, I'm just going to do them all. And done. Right, now we don't need you anymore, so we can put you away. Uh, oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. And we'll just leave the ones kind of, you know, we may as well just stack them up. Eh? We just may as well just stack them, shouldn't we? In fact, we kind of need all of these because we need to make a magazine as well. And also we need to take out all these nails as well. So, examine. I think I'll go back to inventory. Right. 
I'll just do it this way. I'll just do it this way. This way is the easiest way for me, I suppose. Hold on a second. So if I do... If I examine... Examine... Okay, never mind, never mind. I've totally forgotten how to do that. There is, apparently there is a way to do that, where you can inspect it, you examine it, and you just click craft, and it will just take out everything really quickly. But I've totally forgotten how to do it, so... <laughs> I totally forgot how to do it. I'm gonna need to talk to Kikma or someone else who knows how to do that. Right, and take out nails, and that should be it. And now we should be able to make it. Why can I not make it? Ooh, why can I not? Why can I not make it? I've got those. I've got those. I've got the fifteen planks. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Just give me all of these. Give me all of them. Give me all of these nails. Wonder why it's not working. It might be because of the duct tape. Not a hundred percent sure. It could be the duct tape. It could be something completely different. Okay, so we can make... We can definitely make the magazine. But why can we not make this? I've got 20 of these. I've got 15 of these. Two of these for... Maybe I need to go get some better uh, materials. Hold on, I'll go back and get some. Right, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Um, do I have any rubber bands? Do I have any? I do. I've got some spare ones. I'll just pack as many those things as I can. Uh, I'll also take a box of nails with me again because we're going to need to make a magazine for it. Right. Can I make you now? Why can I not make it? Why can I not make you? Does it need to be two of the same metal? Does it, does it need to be two of the same metal? If it needs to be two of the same metal, that's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> Lucky for me, I do have two of the same metal here. There's some more. There's some more as well. Right, let's try this now. I've got two... I've got two pairs now. Two pairs now. Right, why are you not working? Why are you not... Mm, might be the duct tape. It might be the feckin' duct tape. Ugh! See, stuff like this is so annoying. Right, where is the duct tape in here? I'm sure I put some in here. E there's none. There's also another drill in there. Do I have duct tape in here? Do I have... There's another drill in there as well. God's sake! Right, what am I looking for here again? I've... I just went completely blank. Duct tape. Duct tape. That's what I need. I need feckin' duct tape. There's a full roll. There is a full roll right there. Right, tell me I can make it now. Can I make you now? I can, so it was the duct tape. God's sake. Right, okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gents, we've got an automatic crossbow. Check that out. That's so cool. Right, can we make the magazine? What do we need to make the magazine? We need 10 nails, we need two. Lucky I've got more rubber bands. I've got so many more rubber bands. Right, I'm going to take out 10 of these nails. And we're going to make a magazine, hopefully. And hopefully I can go outside and get some bolts as well, so I can just show you how deadly this thing is. Right, 14, four more. And I think we need to go get more boards, which means we could just go get one of those, uh, one of those logs. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly put the automatic crossbow in the storage shelf. And I will be two seconds. I'm going to go grab. In fact, wait a minute. Can I... Have I got any logs in here? Have I got any logs in here? Oh my god, I didn't fill them up. I can't take those logs because those logs are way too small. Right, I should only need one of these. Because it's only... Five. It's only five to cut this up. And if I cut this up, I'll either get six or five, depending on what I use. I can get six from the chainsaw or five from an axe. I might just use the, I might just use the chainsaw. It's handy. I might just use it. To hell with it. Let's go. Let's go. Right. 
storage shelf, you rev them up. Nice. And cut into wooden planks. Tell me I can make it. I can, I can make it. Yes! Okay, now we just need to find bolts to put in this as well. So hopefully I've got some bolts left over. Oh my god, look at the size of it. Uh, hold on, I think I can repair that. Repair. 81%, oh, 50%. I might have to do a wee bit of repair work on these. Because they seem a wee bit broken. But that's all right. That's okay. We've got we've we've actually got them now, which is what which is what we needed. You know, we needed these. Give me that. I'm gonna chuck you in th there. Give me you. I like to have the floor nice and clean. Right. Let's have a wee nosy. Let's see if we can find any bolts. And ho ho! We have bolts. We have bolts. How many? It's twenty five. It takes. So we can do that. Put ten of those in there. Oh, the carbon crossbow bolts. Oh, they do. They do, in fact, fit. You need to drag them to your inventory first. That's why. Silly me. Silly me. Silly me. Right, we've almost got it full. We've almost got that bad boy full. I wonder if I've got any more bolts. I wonder if I do have any left. Do I get any left in here? Check my ammo storages as well. See if we've got any in here. We do. We do. We've got plenty of bolts in here. Got lots of wooden ones. Excellent. Right. Okay. We do have a target right there. So, let's do a demonstration, right? Let's use the... In fact, we've got a crossbow in here we could use. So, let's put that in there. And let's take out this crossbow. Okay. Uh, we also need some bolts. So, I'll go get the bolts. Uh, ammo... Scroll down, and we'll use that. Right. So, this is the normal crossbow. This is the normal Black Hawk crossbow. Just for you using wooden bolts. So, bang. So, one, two, three. So, that's, you can see how slow it is. It's precise. It's an accurate firing weapon, but it's slow. It's slow and it's cumbersome as well because you're autumn. It's all of you. It's the power that you put in or the stamina that you use to pull back the drawstring. So, look. See how it used five stamina out of my stamina pool? But if we've got something that's a little bit automatic, you can put a, you know, magazine in that, some basic sights, and then... There's a bear. There's the perfect candidate for the test. Perfect candidate for the test. Right, let's get all these bolts back. Let's get all of these bolts back. We've got something to shoot at, ladies and gents. That is not, that is not in fact a static target. Right, let's go up here. I mean, it looks a wee bit weird. Where is he? Where is that bear? Oh, that would have been such a that would have been such a good demonstration. Look look at it sticking out the side with a magazine. That's huge! It's so silly looking. <laughs> right. We need to locate this bear. We need to locate this bear. If we can't locate a bear though, that's alright. That's fine. I did hear one though. It sounded like it was more to the north. I could be wrong. Wait a minute. Nah. I don't think we're going to get him. I don't think we're going to get him today, ladies and gents. But there is a place that we can go. There is a place that we can go to actually test these out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ammo, and then we're going to take those, and we're going to take those, and we're going to take those. Uh, we're going to go into here. We're going to not take anything because I've got no more bolts left. Oh yeah, we need to repair this as well. Eee, give me two seconds. Do I have any repair kits? I do. I've got a hundred out of a hundred repair kit. Ha ha! And repair. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to the military checkpoint over there. And we're going to just 
shoot at zombies. We're just good. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's um, let's put that away, and let's take the AK out with us just in case something goes a little bit wrong. You know, <laughs> something something always goes wrong here. Something always goes wrong here. Right. These are armored puppets, suicide puppets, and base standard military puppets as well. So let's hope they spawn in. Yep, they spawned in. Okay. My hopes are that we can try and draw them in first and then rapid fire them. So... Okay. Oh my god, it's actually really useful. Okay, we ran out, we ran out of bolts, we ran out of bolts. Okay, load, 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 load. Okay, we need to switch back to the AK, unfortunately, but that was quite well done. Is there more? No, there's not more. Okay, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good... That was pretty well done, though. Look at all the bolts on the ground. <laughs> now we need to get them off them. Oh my god, look at all the bolts sticking in the heavies. All the heavy get. Give me my bolts. Give me bolts. Give bolts. Give me. Oh, you did a flip. You did a flip. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me. Right. Give me my bolts. Come on. Turn around. Turn. Give me. Come on. There we go. Any more over here? There should be some on the ground here. Yep, there's the carbon one. There should be some stuck back here. There they are. Look at all the... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Look at all the bolts. I wonder how far they flew. I'm sure, I'm sure there was way more than that. There was definitely way more than that. But that is really, really cool. Uh, automatic crossbow. Quite good for uh, dealing the amount of damage that you want to deal in a short short space of time. Right, let's whip it back out again. That's nice. I'll, do you know what else I like? It's the little details. Look at the magazine, you can see your wooden bolts and your stone bolts, or your stone tip bolts. So if I shoot this a few times, and I load in, see if I take that, see if I take that out and load in one carbon bolt and the rest in stone and we equip it. Look, you can see the difference. See if I put it in the light. You can see the difference in the bolts. Do you see it? So the ones with the white twine on them, those are the stone tipped ones. Just the basic wooden ones, you can see that they are just basic wooden. And then the carbon one, you can see that nice kind of navy blue colour at the very top, four down or five down. That's pretty cool. I like that. I really like that. I like little details like that. It makes the game a lot better, in my opinion. It's... Look how he holds it! Look how he holds it! <laughs> oh, look how he holds that! That's so dumb! That's so dumb! <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be today's episode. I hope you enjoyed me using the uh, the automatic crossbow. This is a cool weapon. This is a really cool weapon and I can see plenty of uh, maybe events or PvP engagements where people use these because this is a really, this is a really good weapon. For, I mean, for the distance that you can fire this thing at, like from here all the way over there, I was getting true shots at their heads. I was getting genuine true shots at their heads. This is a very good weapon. This is an accurate weapon. I should just, or at least I would expect it's a 
an accurate weapon. This is really cool, ladies and gents. I hope you guys all had fun with this. I hope you guys all have the experience that I had as well, playing with this weapon. This is a really cool weapon. It took a little bit to try and build it, but we got there. We got all the, the materials sorted for it as well. And we got to test it out on a couple of suicide puppets and military puppets as well as the big armoured boys as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Tell me what you think down below. If you enjoyed it today, leave a thumbs up. Oh boy, we're going to have a lot of episodes on 0 0.5. And if you've enjoyed today's episode and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing, ring the little bell. You'll stay up to date with episodes just like this, as well as multiplayer videos on Scum and other games, as well as my Sunday night streams. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have a wee bit more fun with this and see if I can do some uh, some trick shots with it. I hope you all have a very lovely day. I've been Mr. Fudo. I'll see you all another time.